happy or blessed? And Leah said, Happy am I, for women have called me happy. So she called his name Asher, Genesis 30, 13. This verse is evidence of humor in the Bible. Two women are having a child or childish war and they weaponize their handmaidens against each other in a birth race. After the marriage debacle created by their brother Laban, Leah starts having children right away. She gives birth to four boys. Rachel is barren and can't produce. In the fertility race, Leah four, Rachel zero. So Rachel supersedes the process and sends her servant, a concubine for Jacob, to produce for her. Dan and Naphtali follow Leah's boys, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. Leah jumps into the maiden servant act and gives Jacob Zilpah as concubine who produces Gad and Asher. Of course, there are 12 sons of Jacob and not eight, so more births follow, including a girl, Dinah, but Rachel eventually joins the pregnancy party and brings forth Joseph and Benjamin. But son number eight from handmaiden Zilpah is when Leah says, happy am I for women have called me happy. So she called his name Asher. Asher in Hebrew means happy. Leah's not happy because she saw God or entered the land or apparently not even happiness that she had had a baby. No, her happiness is that other women will call her happy. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed. Luke 1, 46-48 Giving birth to the Messiah of the world would seem like a nice instance to make such a statement. That would be an occasion to be happy in Adonai. Funny thing is, the Hebrew word asher is also translated blessed in many passages of the Bible. There is a Hebrew word for blessed, baruch, but asher is also translated as blessed in many English translations. Asher, happy, is generally an adjective which describes something. It gives the noun its description, like we see in Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Psalm 112, 1 and 2. Here we see a share translated blessed in verse 1, while also using blessed in verse 2, but there it's the word Baruch. To be blessed is a verb that conveys the action of, well, blessing. A powerful aspect of a share, happy, is its close proximity to knowing or following Yah and his ways. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Psalm 1, 1 and 2. Isn't it profound that Father's hymnal starts off with the word happy? When we halak, or walk, in the ways of Yahweh and delight in his Torah, we're happy. Yes, we're blessed as well, because Torah obedience brings blessing and not cursing. But we're happy campers when we're living in obedience with God's ways and plan. One of my favorite sentiments in scripture is found in Psalm 34. Yes, psalm means song. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. A share is the man who takes refuge in him. Psalm 34, 8. How awesome is that? Equating Yah to a good meal is delicious. The word for taste in Hebrew, ta'am, also amplifies judgment, which is completely fair. We're not willingly putting any food into our mouth. We've not made a judgment that we want it to enter the rest of our body. It's an area we're all very judgmental. But the end of our taste buds is the satisfaction of a meal that fills us up. Once we've tasted Yah, we see he's good. We're then happy to take refuge in him, or another word for refuge, confidence. Most live a lifetime in pursuit of happiness. The Bible gives a clear path to happiness. Be close to God. Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, 
a people saved by the Lord, the shield of your help, the sword of your triumph. Your enemies shall come fawning to you, and you shall tread upon their backs. Deuteronomy 33, 29. Just as Jacob did before he died, Moshe is given a final blessing to each tribe just before his death. These are the last recorded words of the man of God, Moshe, before he dies. And he tells Israel to be happy because there are people saved by Yeshua. And Yahovah is the shield of help and the sword of triumph. Wow. If you want to be happy, be. Russian novelist Leo Tolstoy encourages the ultimate ontological statement is found not in self, but in God. Happy is found well over 200 times in the Bible, and when you include blessed, over 300 times, and well over 100 occurrences of joy, which is its own study, we have a pretty cheerful Bible. That doesn't make the Bible a self-help book. It's better than that. It's a God-help book. We don't need self-confidence. We need our confidence in God. That's where true confidence is, and that leads to an assurance and a direction that sets our feet aright. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Matthew five eleven and 12. In Yeshua's difficult text to us, he guides us through the potential troubled waters. Both words are employed in our stance against unjust trials. We're actually blessed when people revile and persecute us, and we're to be happy. Why? Because it's good when it happens? No, because we're not living for the here and now. We're living for eternal life. And when those horrible things happen to us and we keep our happiness and joy in the Lord, well, we're in a great place in our faith. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 2. If we're looking for temporal happiness... When it happens, we have our reward. That's it. That moment of satisfaction or pleasure is what we get. It flees away and we're on to the next happy high. But when we're investing our heart in Yah, the events of life that draws us closer to Him engrave an eternal happiness in us. It might not feel wonderful right now, but by faith it's true satisfaction. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek them with their whole heart, who do no wrong, but walk in his ways. Psalm 119, 1 through 3. Happiness does not lie in happiness, but in the achievement of it. Happiness is a naturally flowing fountain out of your time in Scripture. From your prayer closet proceeds great happiness as your feet are led to do Yah's will, which is life fulfillment at its finest. Happiness happens habitually. How? Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Psalm 32, 1. Are you happy or blessed? Don't answer that. Let the Father do that.